Hello and welcome to another Kulux tutorial by Pixel Wizard. Today we're going to do a quick start, so let's get it going. So, hopefully you've already watched the remote tutorial. And in that case, what you want to do is remote into all your clients and start the client software and go into full screen in those clients. And that's all you really need to do in the rendering machines. Back out on the manager, we want to begin the master software. The only difference between master and manager is that master can also render outputs, whereas manager is just the GUI. So here we are in an untitled new project. Step two is going to be merely to define your devices. So anything running Pandora's box is going to exist here in the assets tab. We want to define our devices in our device tree within our device tab by dragging and dropping those devices. These are all the things you would control, whether it's a fog machine, a DMX, a TCP send, a sound, a video layer, so on. It's a device. Let's go ahead and label that. We'll say projectors. I like to put my IP address in here as well. Thinking about like a fixture ID. So the next step, step three, is to acquire content. Typically content is acquired from the manager and spread out through the body of the rendering servers. So test clip here. Now you'll notice by default under configuration under resources auto spread is on which is good if the content is already encoded. If your content is not encoded and you need to use the Pandora's box encoder you'll want to turn this off to keep from spreading very large files. Spreading is the act by which we put these files in all the same folder file structures in all the rendering machines and then manager just synchronizes and begins these files based off of links. Okay, now all we need to do is grab a layer and we can double click or drag and drop that content. And so now that content's actually playing on the server. If you want to see it here in your global preview, just right click the device and hit toggle preview. So by default, preview is off. And we're just going to now be able to work in an offline environment just as easy. So if you see this blue box around your device, you can tell that the preview is on. And that's the quick start. Have fun.